Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion. It is a very good time to be a PC gamer with the video card landscape it is. Uh, right now, the latest video cards in the mainstream segment in particular are more than able to play 1080p uh, resolutions for the latest games uh, without sacrificing too much of the eye candy and more importantly, the power consumption is a lot better compared to video cards that were released uh, two generations ago. Uh, which consumed almost, uh, of course, uh, quite a lot more power and uh, also produced a lot more heat and noise. Uh, and also the, the fact that a lot of manufacturers now have been offering custom cooling solutions to come with the uh, their video card offerings, which not only lower the temperatures, but also offer significantly lower noise. Uh, and of course, uh, if you're playing, you don't, the last thing you want is to be distracted by the noise and worry about the temperature of your video card. So, uh, one such video card is the Turbo Duo Edition of the PowerClone HD 7790 video card. Uh, of course, the 7790 is based on the Bonaire uh, GPU, uses the GCN 2.0 architecture from AMD. And the Power Duo video card, of course, uh, if you haven't gathered, gathered by the name already, it comes with two fans. Uh, it is a custom cooling solution uh, designed by PowerColor and also comes with a factory overclock of about 75 megahertz more than the 1000 megahertz uh, boost of the original uh, 7790 or the reference 7790. Well, uh, let's just dig in to this package and see what we can find inside. Inside, of course, you get the card itself in a anti-static container. Let me just put that aside for a bit. You can see that there is a uh, no warning there. And uh, the secondary compartment underneath reveals the uh, documents and the accessories. So, put them that. Accessory pack, you get a uh, adapter for your VGA or older monitor, connects to the DVI connector. A quick installation guide that is a fold-out multilingual guide. And the driver disc contains the uh, latest ADA drivers compatible with the 77.9 at a time release. And make sure there's nothing inside there and uh, let's continue on with taking a look at the main unit itself once we remove it from the main packaging. And here we have the HD779 Turbo Duo from Power Color clear out of the packaging and first thing we notice is the uh, twin turbo fan dual cooling solution. These are both 80 millimeter fans, and uh, we're going to go back to that uh, cooling solution later. But for now, let's go over the uh, design of the card itself. Uh, it measures 20, 22 millimeters long, about uh, 22 centimeters, and uh, it is slightly longer than the reference um, HD 7790. As you can see, there is a little bit of extension there uh, where the all the uh, PCB ends, but uh, this area right here essentially has this unique uh, ventilation area where uh, the fan blowing air down uh, onto the components and a PCB has room to exhaust here uh, up the top. Uh, unlike other cards, since uh, here in the front, you see that there is no uh, ventilation area here for that to escape except for this area right here. And for the connector, it uses a, a single six pin power connector, and the fans are all PWM fans. And you can probably see through uh, the single heat pipe right there. And also has a single Crossfire X connector, which you can use uh, for multi-GPU uh, configurations. And of course, the PCIe 3.0 connector 
right at the bottom. And here at the rear, you get the bracket with the uh, exhaust at the top. While at the bottom you have a full-size display port, a, an HDMI port, and a pair of DVI ports. Of course, it supports Ifinity, so you can uh, hook up uh, three or more monitors at the same time. And uh, you can see the shroud right here, just a brief description of the shroud. It's made of plastic, but on the sides there are these uh, rubber uh, areas right here. So it is essentially an air for you to grip uh, onto, so when you're handling it, uh, it doesn't slip. Uh, when you're moving it out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab a uh, screwdriver and remove the cooling solution and we're going to take a closer look and what it looks like down there and also take a look at the PCB design. Alright, here with the heat sinks removed you can clearly see the layout of the PCB with the Bonair GPU right in the center. Uh, the reference core clock runs around 1000 megahertz, up to 1000 megahertz but the factory overclock Turbo Duo can do up to 1075 megahertz and you also see the one gigabyte memory configuration there across four memory chips. These are Hynix memory chips as well as the uh, power design here. I've removed the small heatsink. See there, there's a thermal tape and a small uh, pin on uh, heatsink solution right on uh, the uh, power design area. You have four plus one plus one phase design with uh, custom uh, superconducting power chokes. That uh, I believe these can do up to uh, frequency, have a frequency range of up to uh, one megahertz. So uh, low DC resistor and a higher current rating of up to 40 amps. So it uh, it is uh, supposed to deliver better overclocking capability compared to the reference HD 7790. And uh, let's all see the PWM fan connector here at the end and the uh, as we uh, laid out earlier you have the ventilation air right here at the end for the fans to uh, uh, exhaust air to and uh, let me just uh, show you here at the back there's actually a uh, the voltage regulator is located here in the rear might need to zoom in there as of course uh, able to handle the uh, the improved uh, power handling of the HD7790. Uh, it supports now uh, double the um, for the dynamic changes uh, of the, the uh, Bonaire GPU. Uh, it is much more capable of managing power much more efficiently compared to the older 7000 series video cards. And also, let me just uh, move the PCB and take a closer look here at the heatsink. Uh, it's removed. There's a turbo dual cooling solution design. You can see that the S, there's a single S-shaped copper heat pipe that is in direct contact with the GPU core. And the GPU core itself doesn't have uh, integrated heat sink. It is exposed. And uh, that, that should net a much better cooling uh, capability and uh, much better temperatures overall compared to the reference design. And also, you can see that the aluminum fins extend all the way to the end. So there is, uh, it delivers the heat from the uh, core it touches the heat pipe and that is distributed to the aluminum fins all the way to the end of that and the pair of 80 millimeter fans here uh, basically blow it out all across uh, away from the uh, GPU core and uh, lower results in lower temperature because of the larger surface area. Well, that's pretty much it for the overview here of the HD7790 Turbo Duo video card and uh, I'm going to now is uh, put this back together and uh, let's take a look at how well it performs in the benchmarks and with the latest games and then also go back and see how well it overclocks and look at the temperatures. All right, there you have it. As you can see in the benchmarks, that uh, well, let's start with the temperatures. Interesting temperatures here, as we saw that the uh, the idle temperature and the low temperatures were very very manageable. Uh, we have, of course, the, the Turbo Duo fans uh, working there with a single heat pipe solution. It also maintained the noise at a very very low level, and uh, actually, power color is very conservative conservative with their uh, fan speeds here. Uh, as you can see, 73 degrees under load might sound high for a 7790, but considering uh, that the fan only ramped up to 38%, that is understandable. And of course, uh, as I demonstrated in the overclocking video, that 
uh, it only becomes audible once you reach 45% or 50% fan speed, uh, which it will never reach that on auto. So if you want to lower the, the temperature further, you can just manually set it. But if you want whisper quiet uh, gaming, the Power Color Turbo Dual 7790 definitely delivers in that part. It is the most quiet 7790s I have ever heard. And also, uh, it is overclockable even when you overclocked it. Uh, the performance in the temperature did not uh, rise uh, at high degree at all. It only reached, uh, raised by about a degree or two degree more. And also, it is very, very easy overclockable via the Catalyst Control Center overdrive. Now, this is where the limitation is. I believe AMD didn't want uh, probably to, of course, give it too much headroom that the 7790 will out will reach the 7850 level when overclocked. So they capped it at uh, 1200 megahertz. Uh, for the core and 1600 megahertz for the memory. I would have loved it if it, you could overclock it further just so to see uh, just so to see if it, the overclock version can actually reach the 650 tie boost level but unfortunately that's not the case. The 650 tie boost still had a commanding lead over the 7790 even the overclock versions and as it stands the price the price right now the 7790 vanilla is available for $149 while the factory overclock versions with such as the power color hd7790 with custom cooling solutions are available for ten dollars more 159 dollars uh, the 650 thai boost begins at 159 and actually is available all the way to 179 uh, with the different configurations now just looking at that performance strictly at those base performance you would notice that the the value uh, by it lends itself to the 650 thai boost they definitely have that crown but considering the 7790 uh, Power Color Turbo Duo is available with uh, the uh, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon and Bioshock Infinite for free, two free games, it, it definitely increases the value further. And uh, in comparison, the 650 Tide Boost, I believe, offers you about $25 of free in game credit, $25 or $50 of free in game credit for Hawken and uh, one other, and World of Tanks, other free to play games. So that's. Uh, I would definitely take the Bioshock Infinite over those uh, free credits for those games. So, and Bioshock Infinite is not just any title at all. It's also very popular right now. It is the most popular game currently. And Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, also a very interesting game. Also has been, has been noticed by a lot of gamers due to this unique uh, game design and a very 80s inspired, uh, cool looking first person shooter game. And uh, also in case you have the games already, you can just resell it. Uh, since they are popular games, you can resell it. And find a buyer and uh, recoup some of your uh, some of that money back so if you want you know if it, it went over your budget so that is interesting in that regard that the value is kind of offset with the never reloaded uh, never reloaded never never sell reloaded uh, game program that AMD is currently running but I must uh, give AMD kudos because uh, they've definitely stepped up their game uh, in terms of game support now and also in terms of uh, feature, the PowerColor HD7790 Turbo Duo is Affinity capable and Crossfire capable, so you can uh, expand further uh, with the performance uh, if you want upgrade later on down the line. Of course, a, a very good deal for the uh, for upgrading later on and for Affinity support as well, and the uh, 4K support just in case in the future you can actually drive uh, 4K displays via the HDMI and the Display Port. Uh, for uh, for uh, via the HD7790 Turbo Duo, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, overall, the again it becomes really tricky because the pricing right now is somewhere in between. It's really close to the 650 Tie Boost pricing. That's why it is. Uh, I I wouldn't say that the that the that I would say that the value is very. Uh, competitive right now in that price range for the 650 Tie Boost and the 7790. We'll see what shakes up after Computex because there's always uh, once we enter Q2 and Q3 of the year, uh, the prices will definitely shift again, uh, especially with AMD. And we don't know what they have, what Nvidia has in the pipeline. AMD has in the pipeline, so uh, there might be a good chance that the prices will lower down further. And also the fact that uh, 7850 one gigabyte is being phased out means that the 7790 uh, one gigabyte two gigabyte versions will be the only choices by from the AMD segment on that price range uh, offered currently well um, that's pretty much it and uh, you can click on the full review like see one of the benchmarks
Click on the link below at DigitalLegion.com and also visit us at Facebook, Facebook.com slash HTL Reviews, uh, YouTube.com, High Tech Legion, subscribe, click on the subscribe link above and also tweet at us at Twitter.com slash High Tech Legion and also join our forums at HighTechLegion.com slash forum where we're always holding giveaways. We're currently giving away uh, a couple of buy-star motherboards. So if you're interested, just check that out.